Hello, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to upgrade from the standard motor in the first batch of the Electric Eel Wheel Nano to this new larger motor. So there's a few advantages to this motor. The first is that it's going to have a little bit more power. The second is that it'll have a little bit more speed. Uh, it's about 25% faster than the uh, first motor. So the second batch of the Electric Eel Wheel Nanos will actually come with this new motor. And I'll, um, you, the way you can tell the difference if yours has it or doesn't is the first batch has these white backs and then the second batch has a uh, back black. Now the good thing is you can upgrade if you got one of the first generation electric eel wheel nanos to one of these motors. And I'm going to be showing you how to do that today. It does require a little bit of drilling or cutting. So we'll go through that. There's actually... Um, three different ways of um, doing the upgrade. The first just requires a modeling knife like this. I'll show you how you do that. The second that I'll show uses a drill and this is a 3 32nd inch drill uh, but basically just take out one of your motor screws and find a drill bit that's a little bit bigger. Um, I don't know what that would be exactly in metric but it's going to be like maybe a two or three millimeter drill. And uh, then the third option is actually, um, in my testing, was the easiest and fastest, and that's if you have a, a Dremel like this. It's a rotary tool and a bit that can cut from the side. So this is a side cutting or plunging bit. Then this works really well and makes it really easy. But um, if you don't have this, then one of those other options will work. So let's get into the modification. So the first thing you'll do is pop off the pulley. Uh, let's get into actually replacing the motor now. So you just need to undo these two screws that hold the motor in place. It comes out and then there's two more screws down on the circuit board that hold the wires in place. So take those out. And the motor just slides out like that. And you'll notice on the circuit board that there's a plus and a minus on opposite sides. So the plus should be where you put the red wire and the minus is where you will put the black wire. So now on to the actual modification. If you have one of the first gen electric eel wheels, if you have the second gen, instead of round holes here, you'll have little slots so that it can accept either type of motor. And so we're basically going to create those slots manually. So the slowest but probably cheapest tool that would do it is something like this modeling knife. And it would take a while, but you could certainly, you know, given some time like that, you just sort of chip away at this and create a slot. Now, I'm not going to take the time to do this method, but I'm sure you could do it. You could also, you know, create little tools, come up with little tiny saws or sanding bits that would do it as well manually. Um, but I'm going to say that this will take a while, but it'll get you to the solution. The two that I'm actually going to demonstrate today, and the ones that I've tested the most, um, is just using a drill. So all you do is you just put this drill as close as you can to the um, hole, and then drill a hole. And that slid in, but so I put it a little too close, but... There we go. So now we've got two holes that are right next to each other. And at this point, you're actually kind of can be done. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the modeling knife and clean that up a little bit. Cut off the sidewalls there. And we've got a slot. Now you can see it's not perfect. Um, I should have probably, <laughs> my, my previous tests were better. But this is going to work. That creates the slot towards the outside that you need. Um, now, the other option, if you have one of these Dremels, uh, is even easier. Yeah. 
and again, that's the uh, worst example that I've got from the tests that I've done. Maybe I should have used a smaller bit. But um, this is going to work fine because these screws have um, a washer on them. And it's going to be plenty of plastic for them to grab onto there. So uh, if you take a little more time and aren't rushing for a video, you should get better results. But even these results um, will work just fine. And if you actually mess it up, I, I think what I would do, I haven't tried this, but I think you can get various like two-part epoxy would work well and maybe other kinds of glue. I'd probably just put some tape on the back and... Um, put glue in, let it dry, and then you should be able to drill out the holes again if you mess up on your first try. So I think even if you mess up the holes, it's not uh, going to be a huge problem. And then after you've got those holes drilled, you can put this through. And, yep, I can easily see the two holes now. So I'm just going to put the screws in. And just put the other screw in now. And these don't need to be super tight. You just snug them up. And that should be good. So at this point, we'll put the pulley back on. And when I ship these motors, they'll actually come with a spare pulley. So if you had like glued on your previous pulley or something, you'll get a new pulley to replace it. And there you go. So then we just have putting the motors. And remember, the red one goes on the plus side. And the black one goes on the side that says minus. Oops. And that's all there is to it with those screws tight. The motor's changed. We can plug it in. And it's good to go. Thanks for watching.